Welcome everyone. My name is Erica and I'm on the teacher support team here at ListenWise. Thank you all for joining us today to learn more about how to use ListenWise quizzes in your classroom. Before we begin, um, I'd love to hear more about you, where you're from, what do you teach, uh, does your state test listening. Feel free to share comments and questions throughout the uh, webinar in the chat box, um, and Scott and I will answer all of them at the end of the webinar. So quickly, here is an outline of what we're going to cover on today's webinar. I will touch on the importance of listening and why we need to practice, practice it in the classroom. I will also walk you through how to find the right story for your students and how to assign a quiz in ListenWise. And then we will wrap up by reviewing the reporting features um, and more on how to assess student listening skills um, in the ListenWise platform. And then after that, I'm going to pass it over to Scott Petrie. He is a social studies teacher in California who has used ListenWise quizzes uh, with his students. So he's going to share some of his experiences um, using ListenWise quizzes and what he's learned about listening so far. So I just want to start by sharing some great stats with you. Um, so first up in the top right left-hand corner, 85% um, of what we learn, we learn by listening. Um, I think that's an amazing stat that really does show that we learn by listening um, when we're children and we sh keep listening um, and learning as we grow older. Um, and then the top right-hand corner, combining print and audio increases recall 40% over just print alone. Um, and then the quote at the top really says it all. Uh, children who are better listeners are also better learners. Um, so these stats just show that listening is a key source of learning when we're young and has a huge impact on academic success in the future. And then this slide just illustrates that listening is a pillar of literacy. Uh, reading and listening are closely linked, and there are 23 major studies that have found correlations between reading and listening. Um, and listening is the dominating influence on reading comprehension and literacy uh, all the way through eighth grade and beyond. And as the last slide showed, students can listen about two grade levels higher than their reading level. Um, so in general, the poor reader is likely to be a poor listener. Again, listening plays a huge impact on academic success. So ListenWise is here to help. Uh, we bring the power of listening to the classroom with real world audio stories that connect to the curriculum across uh, ELA, science and social studies. And we are the only listening comprehension uh, program in the market. Um, and we have teamed up with experts um, to create a way to test and assess listening throughout the school year. So our quizzes focus on eight listening skills like main idea, vocabulary, and point of view. Um, and listening, uh, as most of you are probably aware, is part of the national uh, common core stand standards requirements. And many states are testing listening too, uh, such as California and Florida. So it's becoming increasingly important to practice listening. So now I'm going to switch over um, and show you the live demo here. Um, so hopefully you're all aware um, of our platform, but if not, I'm just going to walk you through um, the highlights of our platform. So this is the teacher dashboard, um, and you can explore all of our lessons here. We have social studies, science, and ELA. Um, and they are all standards aligned lessons for those three subjects. But more often than not, you are um, searching for a particular topic. So let's say you're doing an, immig uh, an immigration unit. So we'll search for that here. Um, and you'll see we have a number of stories on this topic. Um, so you can always narrow uh, your search results and filter by subject by grade and then type of lesson. Um, and since we're most interested in quizzes for this particular webinar, make sure um, when you're searching for stories to click that box and then click search again. So we will only see lessons that have quizzes available. And I do wanna note uh, that our lessons are the only uh, type of content on the platform that have the quiz feature. We do have current event stories, but um, because those are published more quickly, uh, we don't have the quizzing feature um, as of yet. 
I want to quickly point out that stories have three icons. So language challenge uh, is the level of listening complexity to help you choose a story that's appropriate for your students. And then you'll see here that we have some descriptors on what the levels mean. Um, so it relates to the complexity of the vocabulary and the sentence structure and the language of the story, not the content of the actual story. Um, this next one means there is a quiz available. So make sure you see that when you're looking for uh, to assign a quiz. And then this last one indicates that there is additional scaffolding and language supports. So I'm just going to click into a story. This one is called Coming to America. Um, so all lessons will look the same at the top. We'll have the story summary and an audio player below. Um, <clears throat> and if you want to include then more than just the quiz in your lesson, uh, you can use all these resources that we now have uh, tabbed below. This is also a new redesign that launched last week. Um, so I'll qu quickly review the tabs with you um, just so you're familiar with how the lessons work. Uh, this is the story page. So the transcript and the speaker's guide is on this tab. Um, and our transcript is definitely one of our best features on ListenWise, so definitely use that one you can. Assignment resources, this, uh, these include materials you can uh, assign to students in a customized assignment. Uh, so if you want to use listening organizers or uh, work on vocabulary, you can plug that in here. The teacher's guide gives you an outline of how to teach the story before, during, and after a listen. Scaffolding tab, uh, this includes those supports. Um, for ELL or struggling readers, and it focuses on language um, and other type activities. Quiz, this will be an important one when you're looking for a quiz. So you can easily review the quiz questions here and then all the possible answers and the correct answer before assigning it. And then you can always preview as a student here, and I will show you the preview in a few minutes. And then the class activities. So this has suggestions on in-class activities um, from individual to uh, full class activities. So once you pick a story, you can assign it by clicking this button here in the top that says Assign Quiz. And it will take you to this page. So you can preview before you assign it. So I will show you that. You can look with or without the transcript, depending on uh, the supports you want to assign your students. So this is a fully functioning preview, and it will show exactly what the student experience will look like. Um, so they will listen to the story. They will have the transcript or not. So this is what it would look like without the transcript. And then when they're ready to take the quiz, they'll click next. And I do want to note that students can play the audio as many times as they like as they work on the questions. Um, so each quiz has five to six multiple choice questions. And I'll just click through it so you can see how it looks. Um, and they, each question addresses a different listening skill like vocabulary here or main idea. And then once students press submit, they uh, get the quiz automatically graded, and then they get that immediate feedback on what they got right and what they got wrong. And then I will show you in a few moments how to access that reporting data for um, all of your classes. And then lastly, before we go back and assign, I just want to point out we have a new feature here. It's called Text Help. So this is a toolbar that students can use um, and they can highlight any text on the page and have it read out loud to them. So I'll just show you quickly how that works because this is again a new um, feature that we're really excited to show you guys. Why did the immigrant? So you can see that the words are highlighted and spoken. So you can, they can highlight any text, even the instructions. Um, so a great support there for struggling readers or ELLs. Um, and then once you are ready to assign the quiz, you'll go back to this first page. There are three steps to assign a quiz. So you will select a class. Um, you will select a due date. And then uh, if you want all students to have the transcript, the slower audio and the text help toolbar, you will click this button. And then you also have the option to assign the quiz um, to individual students or provide the supports to individual students. Um, so, for instance, if you want everyone to get the assignment, but only a few people to get the supports, that's where you would do that. So once you are all set, you will click Assign, and you are done. Um, and then if you want to assign to another class, you can easily do so below here and follow those. Moving to unit 3, myself, I'm getting some feedback. There we go. Um, great. So then moving on, I want to show you how to actually look at all of your reporting features. 
in student progress. So there are three reports you can look at. Uh, so first, if you want to see an aggregate of how all students are performing, you will look at the class summary report here. So this gives you a snapshot of how your class is doing across each listening strand. You can see main idea and inference listed here. And then you can also see how well every student is doing. Um, so this, again, is every quiz and every student um, in aggregate for your class summary report. Um, so this is a great snapshot just to show you uh, how your students are doing and then help you figure out um, how to focus your future instructions on the skills that need the most improvement. And then from here, you can click on an individual student and take a closer look at their progress. So you will see the student's performance for all quizzes here broken out with each question. Uh, so by drilling down to this level, you can really see uh, where students are having issues. So for the student, inference um, is the problem there. So you want to focus instruction with that student uh, moving forward. And then if you just want to see the results for an entire quiz, you can click on the quiz name here. And then you can also navigate back from the classes tab um, based on that assignment. And uh, from here in this view, you will see each question written out. Um, and then which strand it relates to. And again, you'll see every student's performance and then you can always click for more details. So you will see uh, the correct answer and then what the student said. And then last thing I wanna share before I hand it over um, is a great story from a school using ListenWise. So about 100 sixth grade students in California used five ListenWise quizzes over the span of three months. And that school reported um, that those students performed about 14% stronger on the listening component of the CASP um, than about 200 7th and 8th grade students who had no exposure to ListenWise. Um, so just one anecdotal story so far, but it really goes a long way to uh, show that uh, there really is power in listening, pra in practicing listening, um, and then in preparation for uh, state tests. So that wraps it up for the product part of the webinar. Again, if you have any questions uh, or anything along the way, just leave a comment and we will answer it um, at the end. So now I'm going to hand it over to Scott and we will, um, he can take it away and show his experiences about on using ListenWise. Okay. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Scott Petrie. I'm a social studies teacher at uh, JFK Medical Magnet High School in Los Angeles. And last year, I did a teacher impact grant uh, that we were funded by the ASCD organization with a couple of my colleagues. Can you go to the next slide, Erica? Yes. And you will see them here, my lovely English teacher, Holly Abdul, and our other English teacher, Duncan Scrimger, who's actually in the same classroom with me right now. We uh, received funding to do a video lesson study on how do teachers teach listening and speaking skills. And one of our sources of frustration was that most of our students were really good at speaking. In fact, it's hard to get them to stop talking. Uh, but they were horrible at listening, especially horrible at listening to each other. So when we all realized we had this problem, we tried to come up with sort of a systematic way to study it. And I assigned 11 listening quizzes to my 180 plus students. On average, those students answered about 73% of the questions correctly. Uh, which is a big improvement on a national study that found that people on average can only listen to about 17% of what they hear from the TV news. Uh, and I, I should point out, I should start off by saying if my wife was here listening to me talk about teaching listening, she would laugh so loud because she totally complains that I don't listen to her, I refuse to write anything down, and I don't remember anything she tells me. So uh, using ListenWise has really helped me emphasize how important this skill is with our students. And let's move to the next slide. Um, and when we were doing this, this is a piece I wrote for the Getting Smart blog. You should be able to click on it from this picture. Um, we found research from Noni LaSalle at Harvard that said that our students need to know 50,000 words by the end of high school. They have to have an academic vocabulary of 50,000 words for them to be successful in college. If you go to the next slide, Erica. 
what I found is from Robert Marzano that 54% of a student's academic vocabulary comes from social studies. So when you add up all the academic vocabulary that's in history, geography, civics, and economics, you see that social studies uh, offer students the most exposure to academic vocabulary. And what we learned from using ListenWise is that you know our students are able to listen two to three grade levels above what they read. And when you p pair the listening and the reading together, students are more apt to have what we call successful reading experiences where they have greater understanding and greater pleasure with the reading experience. So I've kind of switched my curriculum now to where I teach skills, and I like to use the ListenWise quizzes to help my students identify where they need improvement. Go ahead to the next slide. Um, and, you know, even though I'm at a medical magnet at the academy, we're supposed to be teaching students, uh, in addition to the historical content, we're supposed to teach them about job skills for people who want career in medicine. So one of our research when we were writing this proposal for our new school, we found that all of these companies, this is from a study from uh, HR managers, and you can see that the top two skills they're looking for are oral com communication and listening skills. And then uh, on my blog, I have a link to, well, I think it's the next slide, actually, Julian Treasure um, has a couple of great TED Talks that he's done, and he really wants uh, school teachers, his TED audience, which is a very influential audience, to teach listening in schools. And he's developed this Raza mnemonic, which I believe I included on the next slide. Oh, no, I didn't. I'm sorry. His Raza mnemonic is um, teaching students to receive, to pay attention to the speaker, to appreciate, to nod at the speaker, to smile and make eye contact, to summarize what the speaker just said, and to ask questions about it. R-A-S-A, -A, this is an easy poster. You can Google it. You'll see many examples of it. And I just have it hanging in my room so I can point to it throughout all the listening activities I do in class. So now uh, you can go to the next slide where you see um, this is a sample social studies lesson. I'm required to teach about the Constitution and the branches of government. This is the ListenWise. I found that there's close to 100. I believe there's 96 ListenWise quizzes for social studies story. And then if you go to the next slide, I'm kind of repeating what Erica said here is that it breaks it down. So you can see what are your students struggling. In this case, uh, my students look like they're struggling with point of view and main idea. So you can, again, readjust, reteach your lessons to focus on those two elements of listening. Okay, next slide. All right, so the big question is, how do we teach students to ask questions, manage their interest levels, and discuss what they just heard? Because one of the things I found is whenever I reach to my um, computer and I hit play on an audio file, I watch half my students reach for their cell phones. And in order to mitigate against this, I started a little speech where I just tell them, look, your friends are still going to be there. They're still going to like you. They're still going to retweet you. You just have to wait and give this six, seven minute podcast you're 100% of your attention. And so the first time I measured how many kids uh, disregard the instructions and um, play on their cell phone while they're listening, it was more than half. Uh, and then when I went back and explicitly gave them directions to leave their cell phone in their pockets and I showed them their quiz results, every single kid was able to keep their cell phone away to focus on the ListenWise content. And then my next slide, I just want to go through real quick. Um, one of the things I'm interested in doing this year is me measuring student listening skills and coming up with a systemic way to do it. And ListenWise gives us a lot of options. What I'd like to do is figure out how do my students do listening with zero scaffolds? How do my students do listening with the scaffold? How many of my students complete these activities when they're homework? How many students complete these activities when it's classwork? And then if you click on this link right here, 
when they're surveying students, you'll go to the little survey that I gave my students um, af after the end of last year. And I just want to kind of run through some quick stats, so go to the next slide. Um, and so I, I asked my students like 10 or 12 questions, and you can see uh, right here that they 60, about 70% agree, uh, and a smaller group strongly agree that the listen wise content they heard in class increased their understanding of the historical events they're learning about. Next slide. 52% um, agree that listen why stories help them understand the importance of historical events. Next slide. And then 50% plus another 11% strongly agree that they understand more academic vocabulary from hearing it on listen wise than they do from reading it in the textbook. And then the next slide. Uh, talks about how uh, listening to the stories make them more confident when speaking about the social studies topic. And this is important because this is showing them how to pronounce the words correctly. Depending, as a world history teacher, when I get into Africa and other continents that we don't always study, Russia, I really struggle with the names. So I love the listen wise stories that kind of help me say these names correctly, and so do the students. And then I think the next slide is the last one. Uh, so um, a little plug for me. I'm part of this group that's funded by the Gates Foundation and the Constitutional Rights Foundation. And we are looking for 600 teachers to, to participate in some professional development next year. Uh, we will have an online course on the Canvas network. You can click on this link and you'll go to the website. If you're a K-12 teacher in the United States, You'll be able to access this um, learning library that has a lot of civil conversation models and historical simulations. We're really trying to examine how teachers are focused on improving the instruction of speaking and listening skills. So, and then the last slide, I think, and I will stop talking, is just my contact info. If you want to like me and follow me on Twitter, make me feel three inches taller than I really am, that would be great. Uh, these are the professional organizations that I'm part of. The History Rewriter is my blog, and I'm members of the Southern California Social Science Association and the California Council for Social Studies. So I hope to see you at some of our events or our annual conference, which is in San Francisco this November. And thank you very much for having me, Erica. I love Listen Why and uh, can't wait to get started uh next week with the civil war quizzes <laughs> awesome thank you so much scott that was wonderful um and then to wrap it up i know we're kind of at time but if you're interested um to see what it's like to take a quiz before your students do it we encourage you to take the listening challenge um so that link is here and you'll just listen to a story and take a quiz just like a student um, if you have questions, feedback, stories um, from your own quizzing experiences, love to hear them. So you can email me uh, at erica at listenwise.com. And then if you don't currently have ListenWise Premium, but you're interested in a subscription for your school or classroom um, after this webinar, please visit our Contact Us page and then fill out a form and someone from our team will follow up um, quickly after. Um, so without any further ado, are there any questions? I will take a peek um, at any at this. So hold, please. Awesome. Love hearing you guys from all over uh, the country. This is great to see. Um, quizzing. Can you print the quiz? I see Danny asked. So if you don't have uh, all of devices, yeah, you can uh, take the quiz and print it off. Obviously, we recommend keeping it on laptop so that you can have that data um, and recorded. Um, but if not, you can still use uh, those quizzes. iPads work as well. So uh, we're just a website, so you can access it from computers, tablets, and even your cell phone if you need to. Um, Lisa Cost, you can email me or the... Uh, submit a form, but we have single teacher subscriptions and then school subscriptions. So definitely reach out to us and then we can um, help figure out the best package for you all. 
Um, and then Scott, thank you for uh, sharing some info um, and that student survey. And I can, since there are a lot of good links in this deck, we can, will send this out afterwards if you guys um, want to click around and learn more. And we'll wrap it up now. But if anyone else has questions, obviously, just shoot me an email, erica listenwise.com. Thank you all for joining. Bye. Thank you, Erica. Great working with you. Thanks, Scott. Bye. <laughs>